Hey, Into Picklers, Tony coming to you from Groveview Park here in Sanford, Florida. I want to give you a quick tip today on dinking. I want to talk about aggressive dinking or aggro dinking. Uh, basically, what we're talking about is sometimes you'll get a dink situation where you get a, a dink from your opponent that sits up, that, that has some, some loft to it, so it has some, some height over the net. And you can do something with that dink other than just put it back into the kitchen. So what we want to talk about today or show you today is a little bit of some concepts in terms of what you can do differently when you get a ball that you can actually attack, not in the sense of ripping the ball or hitting the ball hard at your opponent, but of hitting a dink that's perhaps a little more aggressive and has a little more purpose behind it to put some pressure on your opponents and maybe get a pop-up and put the ball away. For this video, we're going to take a different angle. I'm going to be shooting from behind my shots. What I want you to be able to see is I want you to be able to see what I'm seeing uh, as best as I can without wearing a, a camera on my head. So you can see what I'm seeing in terms of the dinking development and then when I decide to execute the aggressive dink. We'll show this video a second time, but in this, in this first sequence, you can see how basically uh, we're going back and forth with some just normal dinking straight on. And then there's a moment at which I decide to go towards Jill's left, my right, and hit an aggressive dink towards the outside, pulling her wide. Uh, and that's really what you're looking for in these situations is when you're dinking like this is find a spot where you can execute a shot like that to stress the opponent. In this next one, again, just some straight on dinking. And then you'll see in this one that at some point during the dink process, I'm going to decide, okay, I'm going to go towards the middle aggressively and create some stress on, the, uh, on my opponent, Jill, in this case. In this next one, same thing, start with some regular dinking. And then at some point, I'll decide to be aggressive with it. And I'm going to try and get it towards her feet, which results in a pop-up. Let's look at one more sequence. The regular dinks here in the middle, I'm not missing anything. I'm not missing any dinks. I'm making an error, but I'm not doing anything particular with the balls. You'll see in the last shot here where I stress Jill is where I create an opportunity to win the point. The concept of the aggressive dink is, is basically a, a, a subset, if you will, of a concept that I learned when I first started playing pickleball from Joe Baker. Uh, very good videos uh, by him on YouTube. Uh, the concept that he talks about is applying maximum pressure on your opponents with every shot. So if you get a dink that sits up a little bit, rather than just feeding it back to your opponent, maybe think of a shot that maybe a little bit of an angle, maybe a little bit of uh, towards the middle, a little bit, a little deeper towards the feet. Uh, so you create some pressure on your opponents and perhaps you get a pop up or, or they miss the ball right there. But think of applying maximum pressure with every shot, including in the dink game.